What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my Jack and Daxter Let's Play. Today, we're going to be moving on to uh, Sandover Village, I believe. Yeah. So, we already talked to uh, the Green Sage. He was kind of kicking us out of his place. <laughs> and here we get to finally kind of see the world. The really cool thing is, I'm pretty sure this game came out around the time the PS2 came out to kind of like show off everything that the PS2 can do. And so with that, this entire game is like one big open world. There's like no loading screens whatsoever. And then, uh, yeah, I'm going to show you something after I talk to her. Uh, if you don't know, <laughs> everyone back in the day had a crush on her. So let's talk to her. Hey, baby. What do you say you and I go cruising on this A-grab zoomer? Rule number one, I don't date animals. Ah, uh, you don't know what you're missing. <laughs> Listen, if you need something to keep you busy, my father always talked about an ancient precursor pipeline hidden deep underground. Some of these pipes end in vents from which eco flows freely, and some have been capped off so that the eco is sealed back. There must be a way to turn the capped vents on. I traced part of the pipeline back to the Forbidden Temple. Maybe you should look there for some type of switch. Yeah, so she was a baddie. Everyone had a crush on her back in the day. Um, so we want to be heading towards that village, but real quick, I want to show you something. I'm pretty sure this used to scare like 90% of people that play this. <laughs> or at least it scared me as a child. But you hear that heartbeat, and all of a sudden, the lurker shark comes up. Or lurker fish, whatever he's called. Yeah. Whenever I would hear that heartbeat, that would really get me scared and yeah. Didn't want to get caught by that thing. But yeah, I spawned us right in front of the bridge so we can start heading over here. Um, we're not going to be able to 100% this area just yet, unfortunately. But uh, until then, we can talk to all the villagers, I believe. I could be completely wrong. But I, I don't know whose area this is actually, but we could get this. Hey, it looks like scout flies are always in red boxes. And then next we can come in here. This character is, I think, supposed to be Jack's uncle, which doesn't really make sense for the later games. I think they like changed directions to where they were going with this story for the next few games. So yeah, we're not going to see him again after this game. Well, uh, hello there, my dear boy. You've caught me at a most inopportune moment. Uh, I wish to set off on my journey yesterday, but I seem to be a spot short on the old Precursor orbs. I would have pledged my word that I had 90 of them, but I gather that your young friend, you know, the little annoying, miserably ugly one, might have just pilfered them as a sort of a spot of fun. Anyway, uh, would you be kind enough to loan your dear old uncle 90 Precursor orbs so he can get underway? I would offer you a power cell in return. Okay, yeah, so he just said uncle there. I'm pretty sure it says it somewhere, like, in the manual or on the map that you would get with the original copy of this game. Alright, so we can head in here. There's gonna be a hidden little, uh, scout fly right here. Nothing else in here, so we can just go over and just talk to, uh, this, uh, big guy right here. Oh, don't tell me that you two have problems as well. The, the freaks I hear of monster sightings near the village and now this. See those gears up there, boys? See them? See how they're not moving? That means our village has no power. The eco beam coming from the jungle temple has been interrupted. And boys, everyone's too frightened to go out and, and find out what's happened. Did you pay the bill? Yeah. Hmm? Oh, 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 you're funny. Now look, if you two fix the eco beam, I'll give you a power cell. Oh, and, and another thing. If by any chance you're interested in making a contribution to my re-election campaign, I, I might be willing to part with yet another power cell. The minimum contribution is, a, oh, a very modest 90 precursor orbs. I don't really think this guy deserves my precursor orbs to become mayor again. But unfortunately, we're going to have to give it to him if we want power cells. <laughs> Alright, there's going to be another guy in there. We're going to pass him for a second. If we come around this corner and hop down on the beach, there's going to be another little scout fly here. I'm going to 
try my best to remember where everything is. I have 100% of this game multiple times. Still doesn't mean I remember where everything is. It's got fly number four right there. Let's hop up here and then talk to this guy in here. Hey! Little furry dude! Oh, I thought for a moment you were my muse. You're what? Haven't you ever seen a muse before? It's a little glowing squirrel about your size, full of spunk, and crazy as a lark. Oh, I get it. Like a sidekick. As a matter of fact, without my muse, I just can't sculpt. But with her around, I see beauty in everything, you know? Right now, I couldn't chisel my way out of a box. I think she ran away to that misty island. Oh, I just hope she's all right. It's worth a power cell if you bring her back to me. Wait a minute! We are not going back to Misty Island! Are we? All right, this guy oh. lost his muse, which is sad. To be Where fair, his muse is, is beautiful. Muse. And he wants us to go back to Misty Island, which I don't actually remember, but like, that's where the first little cutscene of this game happened, where Daxter fell into the dark ego. All right, there's going to be a crazy bird lady in there. We're going to talk to her in a second after we come up here and grab this stuff. What a weird looking thing. Grab this blue eco, jump across, and grab this little uh, Arkansas vent. I don't know what these are actually called. Alright, now we can go talk to the crazy bird lady right here. And I just ran into an invisible wall. Let's go. <laughs> oh my, what a horribly sick little bird. <laughs> you don't look so good yourself, lady. Oh, sorry. I thought you were a spotted orange bellied ring freak. You know, yesterday I saw some terribly vicious creatures capture a mother flut flut near the beach. Now there's this poor little orphan egg sitting in a nest at the top of the cliff and I can't get to it. If you could climb up there and push it off, I've piled some hay down at the base to catch it safely. Do an old lady a favor and I'll give you a power cell. Poor little flut flut egg. We're gonna have to help her later. All right, next up, there are gonna be this little like yak cows, I think that is what they're called. They can be kind of annoying, but I'll just do one real quick. You kind of gotta lead them back into their little uh, area over here, the fence off area. Come on, buddy, go in there. All right, there's one. Let's talk to the old man real quick. Gotta milk those yak cows. Gotta milk those yak cows. Oh, it's you. Oh, just resting my tired bones. I've been trying to get those Henri yak cows back into the pen all day. Some strange creatures tried to steal them earlier. You think you could help an old man try to get them back into the corral? I will try my best, buddy. But if you can hear that little like weird well, sound, the you hear our the uh, scout flies right here. Oh, I totally just missed. Boom, number five. I believe the next, the last two are like right next to each other. All right, let's go for this first. I didn't even have to hit him and he's already running from me. He probably saw what I did to his little buddy over there. There you go, buddy. You got it. Good job. All right, let's get you since you're right here. And take a shop right. All right. I think there's only two more and I think they're both over here. Yeah, okay, right there. Go, go, go! I just missed space running anyways. Oh, nope. Too far. So I definitely think it's faster if you hit them more. Turn right in there, and then la time for the last one over here. And then... The rest of the precursor orbs, you go that way, and it says you enter the Forbidden Jungle. But it still counts towards this area for a little bit as long as you stay like on the beach. All right, I think that was the last one. Farmer owes us a power cell. Let's go talk to him. Yeah, you lazy farmer. It's okay though; he's an old man. Ah, oh, well done, my boy. You actually got those flea bags back into the pen. Now I can sleep in peace. Take this power cell for your trouble. Oh. 
Hey, we got another trophy. Let's go. Just need to add that to my little tracker real quick. So there's going to be more precursor orbs going up this way. I think this might say we're going into a uh, lava tube. I'm not hurt. Fire cannon, that's it. <laughs> Wrong fiery kind of place. Right, I think that's all of them. Uh, we'll see this a little bit later once we're done, completely done with the sand of our village and all of the connecting areas to it. Alright, so next... We will come over here and grab all this stuff. I like a weird shape before they actually load in. I kind of wish I uh, played the HD collection. It's just I already had this like showing up on my PSN profiles that was bugging me <laughs> along with a couple other games, but I probably won't get to those ones for a little bit for a while. And I was kind of itching to play this game. Switch already. All right. So, like Dexter just said, we can definitely go switch the uh, precursor orbs for a power cell real quick, but we are gonna hold off on that for a couple minutes because we got this last area up here where we will get the rest of the precursor orbs and then the final two uh, uh, scout flies. All right. Here's three. I believe once that hits 100, that means we have them all. So there's only like seven more. Okay, six. Check out that funky sculpture sitting out of rocks over Ooh. there. It's always nerve-wracking uh, rolling on here. Just because you can roll too far. All right, cool. Hey, got another trophy there. Let's go. All right, just got to put that in my little tracker. And another stuff fly. Let's go. Let's go. This okay, now we can talk to this guy. Oracle, like the sage always goes all about. I hope they weren't as ugly in person. Who awakens the Oracle? Wait, one of you has the light within. From before time, I have watched and waited for the true hero to return. Present to me 120 precursor orbs for each power cell I contain. I have always loved this thing's like voice. You would think that Dax are falling into a pit of dark ego. It would give him some kind of power. But unfortunately for him, it did not. <laughs> All right. So we're going to go turn these precursor orbs into someone real quick. Because uh, there's only return that return 120 and 120. And then we are pretty much done. Or I guess there's two 90s, but. We can only do one right now. And I don't really feel like giving Mr. Mayor our orbs, so we will just give it to our uncle instead. I see you two are back to make the trade. Good, good, jolly good. Hey, you have the uh, precursor orbs that we agreed on? I hope you put this hard-earned power cell to good use. Cheerio, ta-ta, bye-bye. Cheerio. That map that you see on the wall, it kind of looks like the map you would get for uh, this game that would be in like the case. But uh, yeah, we are done here. We cannot do any of these because it requires us to get more orbs. I don't think we'll actually be able to finish that for a while because I don't think we get enough orbs like within all these like sub areas to pay for all it. So we're definitely going to have to come back here to actually finish that. But uh, yeah, that'll do it for this episode. Next time, we're going to go into the Forbidden Jungle over here. It's jungle, right? Uh, okay, it didn't say it. But uh, yeah, I will give you guys a little sneak peek real quick. All right, this is what we're going to be dealing with next time. So uh, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.